Hey TikTok, I remember when we used to homeless and we just moved to Massachusetts from New York City. We still had a, the New York plate per my car. We used to stay in one shelter and you know in the morning you have to get up early, we stay in the shelter and come out and find somewhere to go and then you come back in the evening. Which me thankful at least me have somewhere to sleep in the evening because we had a car where we could have used, you know. But I tell you, one day I'm there sleeping in my car, I'm park in one different town from the area where my had this, um, I was staying in the shelter, I'm there sleeping in my car, somebody called the cops for me, come there sleeping in front of them yard, and the cops come and say, why are you sleeping, um, why, why are you parking in front of this house, somebody tell me they see you sleeping, and I say, because I'm in the shelter and I'm new to the state, and I don't have anywhere to go, so I'm sleeping in my car because I'm tired. If I just move from there because they call and complain. But my thank God for all them something yeah, we went through because I wouldn't be the woman today without what I go through. You know, before you have a glory, you have to add a story. God take me from a homeless shelter to a hotel, then he take me to a one bedroom. Then he take me to the government housing. Then he take me to my own house. I'm telling you, somebody getting out of Ludi Bar today. Somebody getting out of Ludi Bar today. If you see God and trust God and serve him in spirit and truth, God said the plan that him have for you is good and not evil. Somebody is getting out of Ludi Bar today. If only you trust God. If only you believe. If only you are fair. I see where God take me from when I was in my lowest, lowest, lowest. And he was with me when I was out there when I weren't safe. I weren't safe. I was living a careless life. God was still with me. God is good. You just have to trust him. Jesus is coming soon. The time to give your life to God is now. It's no time to play because tomorrow is not promised to a man. Not even later. Not even in a few minutes. A lot of time I just hear people just drop dead. You know much? I've dropped dead that I went to school with. I thank God for keeping me alive. It's not that I've done nothing good or special or I'm a good person or nothing because I have a lot of sin like everybody else. But because of God's mercy and His grace, be blessed somebody. Hope somebody's encouraged by this testimony in Jesus name.